What's up, YouTube? Godforman221 here, and welcome back to another episode of the United States campaign for Hearts of Iron 4. A lot has changed since I last played yesterday. Um, one, we got to thanks for all the support we got from you guys. So, so far, it's about 501 views on part one, and we have 35 comments, which is awesome. And I was asking you guys for uh, some names. There's a lot of uh, Donald Trump kind of names, like Trump's Battalion and and other things. So um, the one, you know, th that's kind of funny. But I think we're gonna go with um, someone that it was actually the first person to suggest a um, a name. I'm gonna. It's called Ike's Freedom Fighters, and I, I like that. It sounds sounds professional. <laughs> um, so there you go, Ike's Freedom Fighters. Now, a lot of you were telling me. Um, basically, you can't invade Mexico. Uh, I did it last night. As, so basically, after I finished that 20-minute video, I actually tried to learn how to play as the U.S. So um, basically, I did invade Mexico actually and fight the war in the Pacific. So I kind of figured out how to do naval invasions now and everything we need to worry about. So uh, we're gonna be okay on that front here. Uh, we we can invade Mexico and world tension goes to 100%. I can revoke a guarantee on them, which will cost some political power. And then I can justify a war goal, and uh, I can attack them. Now, though, so last time when I got this advisor, um, someone said I should have picked the guy who is the. That's not the workhorse. It's it's this guy, Harold, because he gives us political power, which is a very good thing. And since I'm not gaining any, I have zero per day. It's important that I get him. There's where we get around this, though. What I can do is I can reaffirm the Monroe Doctrine and then go on to one of these two things. Any of these gives 150 political power, so I can get him that way and get my political power up. So that's what I'm gonna do after I finish. After I finish support Rock Island. So we have that set up. Let's go into play here on like speed three. Not only really is happening. So let's talk. We have our research here. We're doing concentrate industry. I'm working on the Stewart. Um, some people were talk saying that, let's look at my resources here, that I have a ton of oil and that the synthetics aren't really good. But when you build one of these synthetic oil plants, it gives you rubber, which I have none of. See, I have no, no rubber producing. So I got construction. Now I'm going to go for the Stewart. Good tank, Company of Heroes. And then we also finished construction. We might want to go on to... We're half a year ahead. I was working on these layers. You know, one thing I do want to do is... Marines will be good. We're not going to get this just yet. We need logistics. There's logistics around here. Yes, here it is. We need to unlock motorized. So I'm actually going to unlock motorized. So I can get some logistics, because one of the things I was having issues with in the Pacific was logistics. Like, I had 18 marine divisions on Iwo Jima, and even though I, there's Iwo Jima right here, even though I built this up with, like, a ton of supplies, like, I didn't have any logistics support, and it was, I was going to actually try to invade Japan. I will actually probably try to do that, you know, I'm going to work on the Manhattan Project, too. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And then, some of you guys were saying, we don't like day and night cycles, so I totally get it. We're just going to turn that off. You know, it's funny, during the war, like, this kind of radio that's playing in the background isn't actually, like, there. <laughs> it, it's really just more serious music. I can also use some... By the way, all these laws will change over, like, the undisturbed isolationism. That's going to change when world tension gets high. Uh, we'll automatically go into volunteer only uh, once we get down prepare intervention. So I'll switch everything over. And uh, even when we go to the giant awakes, like this will really just help us. Once the world gets a little more angry, we'll be able to switch out all these things off political power. One thing that would be good, though, is they have Oppenheimer, who is actually, uh, I think it was a German. Oppenheimer is a German name. And uh, he actually gave s nuclear secrets to the Soviets, so I remember reading about him. I thought it was a German, at least. So you can actually make templates. I should probably train up uh, infantry division here, and I'm gonna set their location to. You can actually set up the front, so they'll be on the Texas front there. So that will be something. Let's see. 
Let's go back to our government here. We can actually hire him, so it's... He was in here. You can actually hire a lot of things, including like Omar Bradley, who's, who's pretty good. Okay, so... We're still constructing a bunch of things. We have Georgia, we're building a bunch of military factories, I'm working on AAs, a lot in Hawaii, California. We're both working on our, like, um, railroad here. Okay, I don't know why I said that Oppenheimer was German. He was actually born in New York, April 22nd, 1904, and he died in New Jersey in 67. So he was an American. Um, seems like he probably had some German heritage or something, but yeah, so that's... So he was an American, he's not German. <laughs> You can, uh, please don't say that in the comments down below. <laughs> hey, how, how can he be German? <laughs> okay. So we're on decent speed here. Let's look at... Nice, so Fisher National Focus here. Gonna go to reaffirm the Monroe Doctrine. So let's see. I'm kind of curious. So you can different production. I think we have enough, um... This is not... We need more production lines here. I also need more war factories. So we're not making any armored vehicles. So I'm going to bump this guy up. Okay, I don't... You know, so we're talking... There's some suggestions about fighters. Uh, this is actually... We'll get... I'm going to start researching some good fighters, too. The thing is, you can't get everything. <laughs> You're going to lack in something here. So, once he finishes synthetic oil, which will give me some rubber, I'm going to start building some of those. Just for the rubber, which we do not have any of. Uh, we got to be worried about convoys coming across and getting sunk. I need to actually unpause here. So, <laughs> once we have the synthetic oils, so we'll do that. And we definitely want to... Let's look at the fighters we could actually get here. We're going to get the, uh, the P-40 Warhawk. That'll be good. Let me get the Air Cobra. And the, eventually the Mustang here, which will be awesome. The Mustang has a great range. Actually, historically during the war, um, the Mustang was, once we got that in 1944, could escort our bombers to Germany and back. When previously, the fighters didn't have that kind of range to go all the way to Berlin. It's amazing to think a fighter could go from, like, Berlin to Berlin and back. Just a single-engine plane back then. I guess we have our we have our carriers over here, kind of our group here. A bunch of convoys just standing by. I'm gonna go back to my production here, because I know we're making just one tank, two a month or whatever. I don't even want to make a lot of these carrier, the uh, not these carrier. I don't want to make a bunch of these inner war fighters because it's really not good. So I have two factors. I'm going to make another... Let's see. So we have infantry equipment. And we have artillery there. Just making sure we have everything done. These are carrier fighters. I want actual fighter fighters. Okay. Germany had the Olympics. Okay, so it's the Hawk. This is the actual... I'll just keep I'm gonna put more onto the We have a shortage of this, so I'm gonna put a bunch on there. So yeah, we're gonna be making one of those. I'll, I'll transfer more factories over when I feel it's necessary, but we also probably want to get some destroyers too. I'm gonna cut back a little bit on these and get him a couple off the aircraft care. I wanna make sure uh we have a couple of these ready, and I'm gonna actually, you, you can tell, I had a navy around here somewhere. I don't, I'd probably send them to the, yes, this is Flotilla 1. So I did send them, I wish there was like an easy way you could like, I wish you could put like, your navy in your theater here. Let's go back into production. And I'm gonna make these guys go to Fatilla One. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is a destroyer for Tilla 1. And this way... I have a massive strong fleet that will deploy automatically to here. We're gonna definitely stop the Japanese from taking over. China looks very strong right now. I don't know if that will actually last. But we'll have to see. I should definitely get working on some marines. I want to station some... I know they attack Guam, the Japanese, and Wake Island, so... I do want to kind of... The one of those mistakes I made last night when I was playing as the U.S. is on my own, is that, with a friend, um, you need to actually... It's kind of better to push in this way, and then take, versus just... I had this, and then I was backtracking, basically. So I gotta take all these little islands, which is gonna be fun. But I'll have a strong navy to help cover me, and I'll get some more air support and air power. So right now we're just waiting. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. We're just building, we're constructing, we're researching. And we're gonna build our great infrastructure across the United States here. So we can transfer troops from coast to coast. Now what's interesting for me is that you actually need to return to a home port, such as San Diego. Or Los Angeles, apparently, to repair your ships. I don't know why they couldn't repair in the Philippines or something. I look at all these fighters we have and tactical bombers. We will go. I think the close air support is pretty good. Four days away. And we're working on the motorized, so I'm definitely going to try to get some logistics here. Like I was saying earlier. Okay, we now have synthetic oil, so that, that's a good thing. The level 1, level 2, I don't really think that's really worth it right now. I think we need to work on something else. So we're going. We have 50% off, actually. I'm actually going to start researching, though, the Warhawk. Because we definitely want to get, you know, we want to build up our planes. We're recruiting more infantry. As we can have an armored division, we can we can just train. So we'll see if we go to war with Mexico at some point. I'll tell you, it was pretty easy last time when I took over Mexico last night. Not too bad at all. So let's see. So you can see the Pacific's broken up into uh, various areas. You can have your, your navy patrol these areas. And that's it. In order to uh, do a naval invasion, which is kind of important, and especially in the Pacific, you're going to need to... Anyways, on that cliffhanger, we're going we're gonna to go right to... It doesn't really matter, actually. These don't really help you that much. Just staying for the political power, so I can actually research. So, um, what you need to do in order to invade the islands, like I'm going to be invading the Marshall Islands. These are actually... These are Caroline Islands. I'm going to be invading the Marshalls, which are around... Yeah, these are the Marshall Islands. So what I need to do is I need to have my Navy patrol this whole area here, right? Then I'll get some airplanes. Oh, yeah, free military factories. So, once we patrol this area, then I'll get some air supremacy, which I'll need from... I should probably build an air base right here on Phoenix Island. Now, I learned something, though, that if you want to build... A, you know, air bases only can hold 200. So, in order to do that... You can actually build like two of them and increase the capacity. If you want to build like a level four air base, like you can keep clicking on it, um, it'll basically give you a ton of room for airplanes, which is great. So I still don't have any high world tension here. Look, Britain owns this little island here. There's so many of these little islands in the Pacific. Like, this is going to be a little bit of tricky to be able to manage all this and our invasion of Mexico. A good reason to invade Mexico actually is because they have a, they actually have some resources if we look. Actually, is there a resource? 
Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna go to the Democrats. I guess that's kind of an election thing you can take a look at. Good, we have concert and industry. Since we're so close to 37, I'm just gonna I'm gonna continue on that. Okay. So just still sitting on the border here with the military. We'll have to wait till world tension goes a lot higher. And we're actually, it's almost down. Don't worry though, Germany is going to start messing around in 37 38 with Anschluss, Demand the Sudan and land, and they're going to go to probably a path to the Soviets and then Danzig or war. I mean, we're just building up right now, the, you know, the U.S. military here. Trying to, uh, to make sure be able to fight these guys when we do and it looks like we're, looks like Republican Spain is getting their butt kicked I don't know if we want a communist or a fascist Italy right now um, but it looks like they've actually surrounded some troops here now we don't have any kind of intel it's very sketchy here and uh, I commented earlier that this was actually Republican Spain actually starts out with this city that's their one of their capitals or one of their major cities so yeah, it looks like they're collapsing troops here. So, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what happens. I think the radio kind of kicks in on weird times, though, in this game. So, here we go, guys. Now we're going to get this guy. So, we'll get political change every day. I think I did that right. Now we don't want fascism, monthly opinion. Oh my gosh, I clicked the wrong one. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I guess we're gonna, I guess we're gonna research one more. I, I messed up there. I clicked the, I misread that. But this guy gives us. I just wasted a bunch of political power. Okay, we're gonna wait 70 more days, and we're, we're gonna switch that so we actually gain some political power here. So we're importing eight rubber right now. So they're being delivered by convoys. What's cool is you can actually sort this by, you know, if you want to just look at Africa, where you can trade with and. I like that. I like that you can actually sort these things, you know. I think EU4, you have to, you couldn't really do that. Someone said in the comments, you know, this is an EU4, you can't invade Mexico. But I can. <laughs> now, Garen got some. Whoa, we have two researchers that finished. How am I, how have I not done this yet? We gotta, we gotta go on our. We gotta go down this decryption encryption route here and improve our radar too. So I'm gonna be focusing a little bit on engineering. Okay, December 36. Our country will be at war in probably four years. 1940. We're all slowly building up to World War II. And you can see our navy is increasing a little bit, I think. We have two carriers. I actually wanna, yeah. I wanna make my subs. I'm just gonna call these guys sub one. I want my subs. Well, let's you know, let's call them out of the Germans. We'll call them Wolf Pack One. Brilliant. And we'll give this guy, hey, Charles Cook Jr. Let's see. Oh sweet, this guy gives us a bunch of. I'm gonna give the spotting chance to the submarines. And this guy's gonna get a superior tactician. Yeah, well, we're not retreating, sir. So I'll give extra ships in combat's always a good thing. Oh, so you can set a new home base. That's what I didn't see. 
so it says click and right click and send to home naval base. Brilliant. So now Guam is their naval base, and these guys put them on medium repair. So these guys will go back to Guam to repair. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. What is this? It's on. See, I don't... I don't get this, this logistics stuff, because now we're low on stuff again. Oh, there's too much naval stuff there. Okay, let's make our... Okay. Wait, I want... I just want you, my wolf pack. Your home base... It's gonna be Wake Island. There we go. Does that relieve our... No, it does not. Your highest naval base is level one. We have a bunch of infrastructure here. If I improve our our naval base, that will that'll help. Okay, now we're not gonna make this mistake again. We're actually gonna read. Okay, compassion, we don't need that. Army organizer. This is what we want. The silent workhorse. Tapped. Now we're getting political power. Good. Okay, we're going to work on the Bureau of Ships here. We're going to get ready. We'll get some Marines. More free war factories. Research slot. These help with our research time anyway, so that's important to actually get done. So I need to set... So it looks like I need the local base limit set to 3. So it's not that I don't care, but Phoenix Island needs to get priority here. We're gonna bump this. This is not complete, but we're gonna bump it to make sure we get... I wanna improve Guam's naval base here, so hopefully we can get rid of the supply issue that's going on. Yeah, I know we're missing equipment. We're not, there's no point even making a bunch of these warfighters anyway right now. Because we're about to switch them over to the, the Hawk. When that finishes up. Like that. Yeah, it's going to kill our efficiency. But if I get any new factories, they're going to go on to the Hawk there. Okay, it's 1937. Let's get the Flying Fortress. It's a nice Boeing aircraft. Pretty good during the war. So let's see, we're making destroyers. We're making whatever. Yeah, we have two destroyers actually going on here. Let's actually switch that to a light cruiser. Now, they don't have efficiency. They really don't have efficiency on here, unlike this. So if you're, they're making an airplane, right? They're only making, starting to make a tank. Um, it's going to be a little, <laughs> it's going to be a little hard for them to switch over. That's where they'll lose efficiency. But doing this with the the docks is no no big difference for these guys at all. These guys have three. So eighteen out of seven. So, I mean, we're going to make this, you know, this is important here, this island. It's even giving my troops a tri- Wow! That's killing my troops right now. There, wow. So, they're waiting for equipment. I should un... You know, as we're building that up, let's click on this fleet here. Since this is like a massive, um... 
Oh boy, the Hindenburg died. As the guy said, oh, the humanity. Okay, I want to move these guys. I want to... And go back to Los Angeles. I think I just moved my actual fleet here. Still are in the home keys here. So it's control right click. I think I just moved my fleet. Okay, let me pick a national focus here. Fix this research before I mess with that fleet again. We're going to go to care primacy. Got a lot of research we can work on. Okay, it's still 37. Let's get the improved tools here. So here's some nice half-off stuff here. Let's get the logistics company here. Okay, let's go back to my fleet now that I was messing around with. Okay, that's their home base, California. Wait, no, they're going... Yeah, that's their home base. Okay, so these guys are... I think we're fine, though, when those other guys are at Wake Island, because that's just... Yeah. Okay, now we're not taking attrition. My army's not getting wiped out here. <laughs> that's good. And yeah, we're still working on, uh, we actually got the, this is now like a level 3 base here, I think. We'll need to build some of these air bases out here. You know, we're going to build an air base here also. So we have th Naval Base 3. I'm gonna let the, uh, I'm gonna bump this up here. On Guam. Now I know I could, you know what, probably should just shift click and then put that up. And then drop it down. There we go. So Ike's Freedom Fighters. That was his nickname. Okay, I'm missing equipment still. Just a little bit though. Still working on our tanks. We're upgrading a bunch of these guys. We need to... I really need to produce more military factories here, but I gotta get the... The infrastructure I think will help. Qualm needs... Qualm's enable base should be like priority too. Great, we have Marines. This is very, very good. Paratroopers might be kind of cool. I don't want to do that just yet, though. It's 1937. So you guys suggested some doctrines, too. Let's go look at the land doctrine. See, so this is defense. Gives us more organization, shock and awe. Okay, a little bit more of that won't hurt. Let's go back to the US here, see. So we have a surplus in everything. I kinda, I looked it up, you can't actually like deny exports, which is kind of annoying. Like, for instance, if I'm producing 1,200 oil, right, and it's world, you know, the war actually breaks out, I can't cut off some of my exports. This game's pretty historical right now. Amelia Earhart disappeared and Hindenburg crashed. So it's kind of annoying that you're exporting what you don't have. There's still missing a little bit of equipment. We're gonna switch that up anyway. It's the Stewart. Probably should have switched that a long time ago. So you can see we still have no rubber we're producing, so it might be worth 
Getting one of these synthetic oils to give us some basic rubber. Brilliant, this is done. We can't, we're kind of just getting ready for war here. We're going to fund the Navy, that sounds like a good thing. Expand the U.S. Marine Corps. Because Marines are going to be, I mean, we're going to overrun these guys here, but Marines are going to be really the, uh, what's going to be critical in the Pacific here. Okay, the Japanese have did, it's called the Marco Polo incident. There's Beijing right there. So, Japan and this guy's probably going to go to war soon. Oh, nice. Logistics company. We're going to do that, too. I just want to get supplies as low as possible. Um, that'll hopefully help with everything else. Radio. Reinforcement rate. Wouldn't it be bad to get some more recon? And if you get some engineers, that actually helps when the enemy's fortified. Recon's always a good thing. We have the motorized here. There's just a lot you can do. That's what makes this game really fun. Hey guys, we're at about 31 minutes. Time does fly when you play this game. So I'll see you guys in the next part. We're getting closer to World War II. It's now 1937. We have a plan in the Pacific. I've definitely learned a little bit more about naval invasion. So we're going to be executing some of that stuff in the upcoming parts here. But war is not broken out just yet, guys. I'll see you in the next part. Confirm it to you too on Sunday. I hope you guys enjoy.